Hello, this is Paladin Prepper, and I just wanted to give you an update. I know a lot of people are working to escape uh, Gmail before the Google privacy policy kicks in on March 1st. And one of the things I discovered in uh, Hushmail is that I did not have the capability in the contact list to click on a select all button. So if you have a specific group, perhaps in your, in your mail, uh, your Hushmail, you would like to be able to send to an entire group at once. And there's, uh, you know, on Gmail, you have uh, a box there that you can click on to select all. Or you can create a group in Gmail. Uh, perhaps you have a specific group of preppers that you send uh, updates to. And I didn't see that in Hushmail, so I got in contact with the Hushmail people and posed that question to them. And they told me about a workaround. And here is the workaround. If you want to uh, hurry and transfer over from your Gmail to Hushmail and be able to email to a group, here's how you do it. You go into the contact list as if you're going to create one new contact. And what you do is, according to this email I received from the uh, Hushmail tech support, in the place where you would put one person's name, you put the name of the group. And in the place where you would put an individual's email address, you string together email addresses with commas. Um, you just go ahead, for example, uh, user1 at hushmail.com, comma, space, uh, contact2 at hushmail.com, comma, space, and so forth. So anyway, I wanted to be sure and give you that important uh, update so that you would not hesitate uh, in, in getting to Hushmail. And by the way, for those of you who don't know the significance of Hushmail, on a regular email account, when you send an email, it's like sending a postcard. Because that email goes from server to server to server until it gets to the individual that is going to, uh, to open that email. The person you sent it to, that is to say. But at any one of those servers, that email can be opened. But if you... Uh, if you have Hushmail, when you compose a message in Hushmail, you can click on a box that puts a check mark in a box that says encrypt. So then when you click on send, what pops up in front of you then is security question. So you can type in a security question and then the security answer below it and you, you know that the person, the only person that knows the answer to that particular question is the person that you're sending it to. So that when you send that email, it's going to go from server to server to server and to the person that you want to send it to. But at, at any of those server locations, when they try to open that hush mail, it's going to bring up the security question. And if they don't know the answer to that question, they won't be able to open that, that hush mail. So I wanted to pass that along to you, very important information as you try to escape uh, Gmail or any other unsecure email. Paladin Prepper.